guys, it's Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. Today I want to talk to you about who is the best candidate to represent you during a insurance claims procedure. Are, are you the best suited to do that? Most homeowners are not. Are you? Now, if, if you want to take uh, you know, so so let's say it's not you. Okay, so who do we have to choose from? All right, well, we have contractor. Contractor works with the house, right? So, I mean, that makes perfect sense. So, okay, let, let's, um, why don't we get a roofer? Roofer, I mean, the, the, the roof, pretty important. It protects everything under it, doesn't it? So, if we get a roofer, and he's going to represent us, if it's a roofing claim, that's great. It's right up his alley. He knows exactly what to do. But what happens if it was a, a water loss from a pipe um, in the wall somewhere? What good is a roofer going to do us? Any? Unfortunately, I'd have to say probably not. That's not really his expertise. Okay, all right, well, since we're talking about water, let, 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 let's go over to, uh, well, a plumber. The plumber's the guy that we want. That, that's obvious. He, he's the one that can help us when we have a leak. And that is so true. But now let's think about that. Okay, so the plumber can handle a leak. Um, does he know about the policy? Does he know the exclusions that may be within the policy? Or endorsements that would be necessary for that water loss to be covered? Chances are not. He, he probably doesn't. Now, again, that's not his forte. Uh, when he was in his, serving his apprenticeship in school, either through uh, the union or he took a, a technical course somewhere, I doubt they spent much time on policy coverage. Uh, I think they were talking about more of what are types of piping, code, issues like that. Well, okay, so let's say that the plumber is not the guy who we, we would want. Hmm. Well, I mean, the, the home itself is, is either built with masonry, brick and stone, or perhaps uh, uh, wood, lumber, two-by-fours, things like that. I mean, so a carpenter, maybe he's the guy that we want. Yeah, I think the carpenter would be the guy that can help us with that. Although, well, wait a minute. Now, the carpenter, he, he doesn't really get involved with roofs. Normally, I mean, I, I don't know many carpenters that does, you know, maybe maybe this guy is really super. Okay, so let's say this guy is super special. I don't think so. But, yeah, I mean, he, he can do the roof. Okay. Is that carpenter going to be able to take care of the plumbing and, and do things with the toilet and make sure the code says that, you know, you need to be X amount of feet and you need to have uh, what they sometimes in gas when you run gas lines? Um that you need to be able to have they call it a little pigtail where there's a clean out to run a wire through to clean the piping out to make sure the gas is flowing properly. You think the carpenter has all the training to do things like that? I would say probably not. Um, and again, let's go to policy. Now, what, what would he know about ordinance of law or sewer and water backup uh, or an ice and water shield that goes on the roof? Does he? I, I don't think he's going to know those things. I, I, I can't see them when he was either going through the trade apprenticeship or went to a, t a vocation technical school to get his training. He was learning more about angles and learning more about uh, the nailing and how we put the, the joints together and, and what, a, what type of weight a lamb beam, lamination beam, how much weight that can take when you're putting a second story on there. The distance versus how much weight. Um, he knows those things, but I don't think he's going to be able to help us with filing an actual claim. So, I mean, we have all these guys that have an integral part of the building of the home and maintaining the home, but they can't really help you if you're talking about a a representation of an insurance policy during a claim process because somebody had suffered damage. The the only one I can think of would well I think of two people, the insurance adjuster. But you really aren't going to ask him about things, would you? 
because after all, he's representing the best interest of the insurance company. So who's going to be helping you to file the claim? The insurance adjuster can't file the claim against himself. So the only other person that leave, that leaves is that public adjuster. I mean, you could you could probably get that guy. I, I know get, get that guy, Steve Walbach, your friendly public adjuster. He'll be able to help you. He he knows what that means. He knows what sewer and water backup. He knows what ordinance of law. Knows the process, the procedures that are needed. What paperwork? What do I need to, for supporting evidence to as I make a presentation to the insurance company to say this is why we want to get paid because this, 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 and this has happened and our total is here and this is what we need to be indemnified, to be made whole. The whole idea of filing the claim is we want to restore that homeowner back to what is known as pre-loss conditions. You can achieve all that if you have proper representation. Well, you need to have a proper claim too. If, if, you're, if you have damage and the policy itself is such where it is inadequate, it doesn't have proper coverage, you're not going, we're not going to get anywhere. You know, we can only be as good as the tools we have to work with. But at least we can tell you that up front and you know deep down honestly that every effort would have been made for you Unfortunately, you're dead in the water because your policy is lacking, because you don't have proper coverage, and the items that you need in there are not there. So the tools that a public adjuster uses to be successful for you, he, can't, he doesn't have them. Therefore, he's not going to be able to be uh, in a positive light representing you to its fullest. So guys, that's, that's what I wanted to finally bring this full circle. When you have damage, that's not for you to represent. That's why we have these different trades, right? We have all these specialists to do things. Don't take this, uh, I mean, take, take this very seriously. You need to have proper representation when you are going up against the insurance company. Don't just take what they say as face uh, word there. You, you need to make sure somebody is truly looking out for your side. And it's not that one where somebody is on your side. Remember that? The one that's on your side is that public adjuster, not those other people. Guys, I hope uh, that you take this to heart. Think about this some. There's a lot of information I just gave you right there. Digest it. Uh, but if you, if you really mull it over and think about it, uh, you're going to see that everything falls right into place. It makes perfect sense. If you need help, give me a call. We'll see what we can do for you. Or give another public adjuster a call. I'm not the only one out there. Uh, I it would be great if, if you would allow me to represent you and help you along the way. But if you would like to get somebody else, that's fine too. Just make sure that you get somebody. Don't do this on your own. I hope that this made some sense to you. If you like what you heard, would you please give me one of these? Would you also then share this with others? I bet you, you know someone that this would be very appropriate right now, right at this second, they could use this information. My name's Steve Walbach. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm your friendly public adjuster. Have yourselves a great day.